Okay, welcome back Silver Bull fans, welcome to Silver Bull channel. I've got some good corn off my crop, but I want to show you some corn pests here. That on the end is, uh, here it's the Asiatic corn moth. Lays its eggs, and then the caterpillars come in, or the grubs, and eat out, start at the end normally. That's why often when you buy corn at the stores, you'll see the end cut off. They've just cut off the bit that's been eaten by the grubs and left the rest for you. <laughs> um, why beware. And here's an example of incomplete pollination. This obviously, you know, this is at the end of the corn crop. We just pulled those out so um, most of the pollen had gone then and it resulted in incomplete pollination of the corn. So that's what that looks like. And that's what happens when there's not enough wind or you haven't hand pollinated or something like that. That's what can happen. So there's just an example for you of two common corn complaints. Pests and incomplete pollination, classic example.